Lately, I've been hearing more and more about a restaurant called Nine Ice Kitchen. It serves authentic Filipino food. So of course, being the food lover that I am, I decided to stop by. I'm always here at Nine Ice, almost every week. Christine de Guia is from the Philippines. It's an answered brain for us because we used to travel in different states. Uh, the one closer is in Pensacola, Florida, but thank God she opened this one. Oh boy. <laughs> The restaurant, opened just a year, serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It comes with the carrots, uh, onion, and sweet potato. Angie Garris, like Christine, is a regular visitor to Nine Eyes. Fortunately, many people now are more educated and want to try different tastes. And then when they try it, they really like it. My son especially loves the um, Pasek Bihan. So we focus on food, now we're going to focus on beer. Going on right behind me is the 22nd annual Dolphin Street Beer Fest. Anybody want a beer? Those are definitely the words you want to hear when you are a lover of craft beer. And this is the sound that you hear when you know people are having a good time. Woo! For bar business, uh, this gives a lot of people the opportunity to come into it to go to a, a lot of different venues that they may not have ever even known about before. So they're stepping foot in a lot of new places. So Roy Clark is the general manager of my favorite bar, the Haberdasher on Dolphin Street. Each bar has three different beers that they're pouring, and you get a, you can get a sample. You know, four ounce sample of each beer at every bar. Although some may not remember the night, others will. Hopping from bar to bar, got it, hop as in hops, and reveling throughout the night, one herbal, floral, citrusy beer at a time. If you were walking uptown on Dolphin Street Friday night, you most likely heard the music. And if you followed it, it would have led you to Moe's, where they were indulging themselves in the world of dance. Carrie Benson started the Dance Without Limits Foundation, dedicated to giving disabled children and adults a place to let loose. We didn't want to have some like stupid stuffy fundraiser where everybody gets dressed up and has dinner, and, like chicken and green beans and prefix menu. We wanted to have fun because that's what our organization is about, is having fun. One Little Girl was a true representation of the organization's mission. The proceeds will be used to purchase special equipment for the students. Um, we have lots of them that can't walk or can't hold themselves up by themselves, so we have harnesses that keep them up. We have, we're going to build a, um, a suspension system in our ceiling that's going to allow people that don't walk or that are in wheelchairs to actually get up and do the moves too, just like all their friends. Thank you! Real life sponsors right here! And here in Africatown, people gathered to pay tribute to the last slaves brought to the U.S. on the ship Clotilda. Africatown, where the last known slave ship Clotilda brought my ancestor, a place where they made a home in spite of the way that they arrived here. In honor of the ancestors of African Americans, a ringing of the bell ceremony was held at the Mobile County Training Center, also the first black high school in the county. It is a great thing to know that our ancestors have uh, done a great work and we thank God for where we are now. This event today is like another step for us. Mr. Porter was not only the first person of color to work in the press register's newsroom, he was also the first person of color to teach at the University of Alabama. The remnants of the Clotilde uh, a short time ago really helped a lot of us to feel a lot better about what we had believed. Today was also about recognizing the influence that the African culture has had throughout the world. For instance, music. European music is based on polyharmony. You got the woodwinds doing one thing, the, the uh, strings doing another, the uh, brass doing another, that's polyharmony. Polyrhythms is many rhythms coming together, making one sound. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. When the clock struck two, people gathered around the bell as it was rung in the hopes that maybe, just maybe, their ancestors could hear. For your news nightcap, I'm Amber Gerard.